Welcome, we are back with more digital integration, and this time I figured there'd be more of a twist on it. So, understanding that business is more of a repetition, more of a simple kind of thing, because simple scales, right? So, let's say you have a hundred uh, potential prospects, and you call all a hundred of them, and one picks up. That means at least one human on the earth knows your name, and you know their name, right? So, after having that understanding, increasing the scale, 200 calls, 300 calls, a thousand calls, Essentially, 10 people to maybe 40 to 50 people will know your name on earth, right? So then understand the what niche and audience you're in, building a website exactly for that person. So let's say for matterbot.com, let's say for uh, Emerald Lawn Care, let's say for, um, you know, AdWords Outreach. Uh, forgive me, these are just some things I'm listing out. What I am saying though is, Having those systems in place and understanding, hey, if we do this, a set number of people will understand. So like if I set a video, at least 100 people will watch the video and at least 100 people will understand within that market, within that niche. So let's say for the niche for online business, if I sent the video out to 1,000 people, at least one person could converge to a lead and then converge to a client. At least one person out of 1,000 people that would see that. Depending on the offer, depending on the niche, and depending on the audience. Does that make sense? So when people are like, oh, you need to have more of a bigger audience, more of a da 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 what it is is you need to understand who is more specific. So that it's easier to sell to 10 people than it is to 1,000. Does that make sense? Because if I deliver offers to 10 people, then it's only 10 people. Versus having to deliver an offer to 1,000 people, it's a lot. And even then five, maybe four or three, that's already enough, depending on the client. Let's say they're a yacht owner, right? So someone that manages yachts, what I would have to do is understand how that I'd have to rent them out to millionaires, to billionaires, keep them managed, because I have to manage the electrician there. I have to manage the you know the captain, I'd have to manage the app, I have to manage the Trivago, the TripAdvisor, right? So let's say the Caribbean or let's say real estate, all these different things, Xylo. I would connect all the apps together so then what say one person would just integrate all of them pick up one phone call say, hey, we are so-and-so agency and we'll connect you with everything. So with that kind of offer, if you give that to a thousand potential prospects, at least one would become a client. Does that make sense? Do you see what I'm trying to say? So you see the difference versus, oh, I only did 10 people, they all said no, oh man. Versus if I did a thousand people, at least one would say yes. So it's just volume, so, so simple scales. So let's, let's say in terms of cold calls, right? Just for example. With cold calls, if I did 2,000 cold calls within six months to a year, eventually I would get one person to be like, you know what, Sean's pretty decent at uh, closing clients. And then at least I would, at least one person would recognize me just through organic outreach, organic, like over time, like, hey, have you ever heard of that Sean guy? He's sold to like 2,000 people. Like he's done 2,000 cold calls. And it's like within the sales you know, area that kind of builds up their reputation. And then what happens is, wait, not only he did that, he did that automated, or he did that X, Y, and Z, he did that A, B, and C. So what's happening is not just are you building an audience for yourself, but you're also learning, also coaching. So then slowly over time, it can develop into an agency. So recently one of my prospects, he was like, hey, Sean, what is exactly, why is it an agency? And I said, oh, that's a great question. So what it is, is I'm delegating this training to other people so that I don't have to do it. So what a remote system integrator does is going to go to a business owner, implement these systems, and they're going to make more money faster and quicker and easier. I'm not going to do it though. I'm an agency where I train people and delegate it. So what that means is when people come into my website and set meetings with them, slowly over time, I train them to do them themselves. Does that make sense? So my clients are literally paying me as a teacher. So what, not my clients, my prospects right now. So a couple of my prospects are like, wait, what is Sean offering? What I'm gonna to offer to them is basically a, a, a teacher, like a mentorship, where if they implement these very simple systems, not only will they scale easier, but also faster. So you see the difference of having to manually call, manually set up emails versus automating it, making it feel warm, nurtured through a video, just like such. So everyone, my name is SLC, and everyone have a good day.